especially on maps with a lot of ramps, it's very yeah. easy to 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 track the, the army. Choke points. Yeah, yeah, the choke yep. points. Yeah. So um, yeah, let's see how that will work out. And we do see Zinio on the camera once again. And the guy behind him, by the way, uh -huh. he spoke German to me. That was the guy ah. I, I told you about. Like he lived in Germany, and I think in Berlin for. I can't remember how to pronounce his name now. Uh, Blist, Bleist, Bleist, Ble Ble Bleist, Bleist, something, something like that. Blist. I gonna Blist, ask him. I think it was. Yeah, I gonna Blisk. ask him later. Blisk. Again. Was it Blisk? I think it was Blisk. Blisk. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so guys, anyway, <laughs> jumping into this game, as opposed to us rambling about somebody's name, yeah. uh, we do indeed have our previous loser of our game uh, in the form of Liquid Xenio, going to be spawning down in the bottom left-hand corner as our Blue Zerg, and spawning up to the north position. We have a very, very surprisingly impressive uh, game from game number two from him in the form of Eve Yeki. Yeah, as you said, a really good show by him so far. By the way, the winner of this game is qualified for the um, for the group stages? Yeah, this is the upper final okay. in, in group two. So. so it's a really important game. I mean, obviously, there's still the lower bracket, but if you can win it through the uh, winner bracket, you, uh, yeah, you're going to skip more matches, and you can relax, and you can watch the other players uh, playing their games. Yeah, not too bad a choice. So, um, yeah. I mean... Zinio is still the big favorite here. I really have to say that. Mm. I mean, Zinio <coughs> being in Team Liquid for a while already. Yeah. Technically, if Justice is served, he should win, technically. Mm. Um, but Yeki, <laughs> he gave him a really good run for his money in game number two. I think th there's always weird dynamics in Muta versus Muta. Sometimes mm. it can catch you a little off guard that your opponent has indeed gone Spire as well, and the decision-making can be a little difficult in itself from there so you know those could be factors but let's not take anything away from Yeki at all he played, no, no. That, he played yeah. that game perfectly yeah, he, he knew what to do completely yeah I guess uh, perfectly would have been if he got the upgrades a bit quicker true, like true, for true. his mutilist but apart from that yeah his decisions were really good he took the fight exactly when he needed to <coughs> and then he killed uh, a lot of economy and after that he definitely did everything right and once again Yeki was going for hedge first 15 hatch, then one more drone, spawning pool and gas. Or gas before... No, it was uh, pool and then gas, I think. Mm -hmm. And Xenio, as you mentioned earlier, once again for the pool opening. Yep. A bit more um, safe here. Not an early pool, it was just 15 pool. And yeah. I'm just watching the drone counts <coughs> intently. I really want to see some early aggression. I, You know, I mean, early aggression's <coughs> becoming a lot less common now in ZVZ because it was it was, it was really weird it, there was there was a interview with Dustin Browder recently uh, who he just said that you know like ZVZ was like bailing zerglings are like I'm not quite sure which ZVZ he's been watching recently but uh, I mean ZVZ for me has just been mid game roach, roach and Vesta. Yeah. Vesta a lot mm -hmm. with hydras mixed in and now we're seeing a l quite a bit more of that broodlord in Vesta in the late with again just armor uh upgrades which is just weird but i mean that's what happens so you can't really take away from it uh <laughs> and i mean yeki he 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 played both situations pretty well first game kind of overextending but i mean it would have he would have always been falling behind because of those upgrade advantages that his opponent had and oh realistically i like the double spire play in that late game i think it works out really well because yeah, of fungal if you want to go uh broodlord infester you should make two spires yeah uh, what I wanted to say about the early aggression with Zergling Baneling, I think s since Zerg started to to place their buildings in a smart way, like to create small wall-offs, as, we, as yes. we saw from Yeki all the time, it's really hard to engage in the early game with uh -huh. Zergling Baneling. And Zergs um, did that very late. Like, they started to wall off very late. Um, they never considered like the Sim City. Yeah, they always yeah, thought indeed, it yeah, was for yeah, yeah. other people. Mm. <laughs> they always thought it was for, like... Terrans and Protoss, that SimCity doesn't matter for Zergs, but it actually really does. Yeah. And I think it's eventually it's going to make an even bigger impact in the other matchups, like yeah, CBT, for example. Yeah, z yeah against the Hellions, we yeah. we do see always uh, going to be the Evolution Chamber, maybe the Roach Warren at the entrance to block off the Hellions, and it's it's such a key right now for the Zerg uh, facing against the other races. Ooh. Uh, but let's focus on this game, because Xenio 
He's running across the map with some Zerglings, and uh, Yeki is making 16 Zerglings. How I many does he have? Um, I guess seven already. The biggest thing here is he's going for an exceedingly quick hatch uh, layer with those four gas guys. Mm -hmm. So he's looking to what I would assume is transition onto a very, very quick Spire here and just try and deal with this as best he can. And if he can get that quick spire out super fast... Oh, did he cancel it? Oh, no, no. He no, 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 suspicion. he didn't cancel it. The thing is, once again, Yeki gets his gases so much earlier than uh, than Xenio. Mm. I'm not really... I'm not too familiar with ZVZ, but every game so far, uh, Xenio's getting only, like, his gases now, and only three of them instead of four right oh, away. He's getting a Roach Warren as well. So, oh. let's see. The spire is on the way, as you predicted here. Very quick spire. This this could actually get bad for Xenio because it's a good gamble, right? Huh? It's a good gamble by Yeki, yeah, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because what happens here is Xenio makes roaches. If he wants to go for some kind of mid-game aggression, then he ends up not really getting over in time before the mutilists pop, and then they put a countdown on those roaches, mm -hmm. and never they never really do too much damage, not enough damage to actually compensate for the loss. So. This is this could work out well for Yeki, but he's been supply block for so long. Like yeah, down. still 60-60. So okay, I got a question. If you, so Zinio makes the overseer now. If he does not scout the spire, and Yeki does will make scout. like does not scout, yeah, and <laughs> Yeki will get like ten mutilis. Do you fly over to your main like to your main base, like the the base of your opponent right away, or do you kill the overlords? Like, what is the the best thing to do there? Normally, you end up seeing the uh, killing wait. of the Overlord. Yeah. Ooh, Banelings, countdown. Well, he's going to end up seeing that Spire. So, I, right now, he'll uh, Maybe not. Like Actually, he's <coughs> he does oh. not scout it right now. No, he didn't. He didn't see it. I mean, there were a few ah, Banelings. A, ah, okay. Oh, the the changeling spotted. Okay. moves in. So, we do see eight Mutalists and the Infestation Pit on the other side of the map. So he cancelled it, didn't he? Oh, d did it just finish? Yeah, sorry. it just yeah, finished. Yeah, okay, sorry. So, hmm. I think the mutilists might be too late to do uh, a lot of damage here, so... Maybe. I think he should get the map control and get the hatchery instead of trying to kill a lot of drones or something. I mean, is <coughs> how, how well is the creep spread between the... Okay, so it's not actually too bad for Zeno between his... Yeah, but he gets <coughs> spores already, second so... Second and natural. Huh? You see, there's a spore on the third. Yeah. And I don't yeah. think mutilists can fight against spores and queens, so... I think he should just try to kill all the... Mm, oh if he couples it with zerglings, he could do a little mm, bit. Yeah. But he I tries mean, to. a lot of roaches. And Banelings. Xenio is in a really good setup defensively here. Maybe if the Mutalist can snipe off the Banelings here, but it's really hard to target fire them. He just can't stick around though. I think he might end up sticking around for too long here and just gets caught by a fungal. There's only three Infestors on the way, and one of them staggered, so like two Infestors will come out at the same time. But if he sticks around for too long, then he would be in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's true. One Fungal yeah. and all the Mutalists could die. So Xenio has his third hedge. Uh, even though I thought that would be would have been a good build by Yeki, I have to say it's maybe it's it's a big gamble to get the mutalist that early. I mean, he has the infestation bit as well, so he will not commit to mutalist anymore, and he gets his third as well. Let's have a look on the drone count. Uh, Yeki, well, he has six drones more than Zinio right now, but Zinio is droning <laughs> up as well. So yeah, well, we I mean, we saw exactly why oh God. that is such oh. a big gamble. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he needs to be careful. <laughs> this is. But <laughs> dicing with death again. But he saw the infestors now, so yeah, he will yeah. not fly in like this once again. No, Zerglings are on the way. They're actually <coughs> going to poke in here, trying to get an infestor, but there's too many roaches there to deal with that. Yeah. I guess a bane link for his troubles, I suppose that's an all right thing, but not too much else. Oh, you have to... Sp that's a good fungal. Like catching six of them, that's pretty darn nice. If he can oh. train that... Uh, let's good four. transfuse. Uh, he's going to lose four or five mutilists here. Killing oh. only one infestor, maybe a second one. No, ah, oh, Jesus Christ, this was really bad for, for Yeki. <laughs> yeah, that really was. Like, he lost all his mutilists apart from one. It's the gas trade that mm. it just... Right now, I mean, Yeki is getting infestors, but yeah. it, it, with the gas that we see Xenio already accruing just a little bit more than his opponent, and with the fact that he had, like, one or two more infestors out before him, then they're always going to be gathering energy quicker than uh, Yeki's infestors. So as such, they're going to have more when yeah. those engagements come. It was a really good job by Zinio using the transfuse all the time to uh, to transfuse the infestors here, yeah. not to lose them. And <coughs> he's getting hydralisks already. Mm. Uh, let's see, the upgrades plus two is on the way for Zinio. He does have plus one, while Yeki is on plus one as well, but he doesn't upgrade. 
Yeah, the second attack upgrade. This yeah. game has got to the point where both of them are just going into the standard comps. Banelink's trying to do some damage. They catch a few <laughs> Zerglings, but <laughs> uh, it to infestors. <laughs> get those infestors. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's got to the point now where the Mutalisks has just put Yeki one step behind his opponent. Yeah. Like he's getting his hy Hydralisk den now, mm -hmm. but there's already like what, like ten or so Hydralisks out for Xenio. So his composition right now is always going to be always going to be pretty much stronger you would we would say so if if Xenia wanted to he could he could take that advantage mm -hmm. and press his opponents forth but he would be slightly out of position in that regard if he did yeah the only thing Xenia is behind is in uh, just like just the map vision he doesn't have any overlords on the map he just got his own uh, Xanaga tower so he <laughs> doesn't know about the fourth and about nothing else like he just Assumes that there's a fourth, so he's uh, running across the map. Hydra Lisk, Roaches, with plus two and a lot of infestors. And I think, well, he cannot charge down the ramp, but he could try to to place his army in a really nice spot to kill maybe some drones yeah, or yeah. killing, trying nice to kill time. the hatch, something like this. But if he charges down the ramp and gets fungled, everything could get could go, uh, yeah, wrong. Yeah, it really, really could. Yeah, actually, he, he cancelled it. Wow. Well, he forced to cancel it. Yeah. It was a good job there that, uh, by Yeki, uh, keeping mm. his opponent on his toes, just trying to kill off something where he may and tries to get a spine crawler, but it's really not that much. Mm. The big problem for Yeki is that the Hive is already Ooh. on the way. Some Roach is running into the natural, but Yeki has a good uh, defensive position here. This is interesting. He's getting tunneling claws. It's not something you see too often. Um, oh, good. So, ooh, that is a nice fungal. Nice fungal. And he's going to poke forwards with this Hydralisk. He doesn't want to lose too many of those to his opponent's fungals. Uh, but, I mean, they've got the higher range, so he just wanted to try and get in there and get them, you know, damage for free on those roaches, right? Yeah, so. Yeki was not fungling at all. Um, ooh, he nice needs to be fungal. very careful here. Because Xenio's spread is way better, and the Infestors are running <sighs> into the front line here, so Yeki's losing uh, two of them. He's getting impatient again. He's pushing in, but uh. he's losing so much to just fungals alone. Roaches are coming in. For what he had just to buffer a little bit for Xenio, but uh, Yeki, meanwhile... Actually, he's pushing him back, and he has his fourth base, but... Ah, one more fungal <laughs> gonna kill a lot of roaches here. Three of them. All the others are really down uh, low on HP, so he could borrow them to regain uh, the HP a bit quicker. Let's see the yeah the greater uh, I mean the the hive is already done. Now we don't have the spire. So do you think uh, he's gonna make the ultralisk cavern or just for the upgrades? Because uh, he's gonna get plus three already. I think uh, you know uh, just going for you know spire eventually again mm. and going into the greater spire is the more common of trades. I mean I the problem is is that I mean uh, ultralisks don't. I mean, they're great in the matchup, uh, um, unless your opponent... Because he already... Yeki already showed he has a Spire, right? Yeah. So behind this, Xenio should assume that his opponent should be going to Great Spire as well. So he shouldn't be getting an Ultralisk Cavern there to try and deal with that. And look mm -hmm. at this, Yeki actually doing a lot of damage here. Yeah, it's, it's somewhat of a base trade. Uh, Xenio, yeah. as you said, has Tunneling Claw, so some of the Roaches are in the third base of Yeki here. And we do, let's check uh, the Infestor count. They it's five against nine. So that's really important if uh, Xenio has more more infestors. So if he gets some really good fungals, he's going to win the fight pretty easy. Just uh, a ton of roaches on the way, though. They're just for everybody. And I mean, yeah. with plus three on the way for Xenio, technically he should have been okay. But Yeki has somehow eked out a little bit of an advantage here. Uh, I think he has better economy as well just by a little bit. Why is well, Yeki doing? There are so doing? many roaches from Xenio getting caught off guard here. Uh-oh. Uh, he has to use a s some he fungals can't, there. He can't sacrifice these. He doesn't have the bank to really replenish. Uh, if he can fungle the infestors, are really good control by Xenio, sending in only one infestors. This is how Zerg should do it always. Yeah, he like really that should. That was beautiful. And now Xenio's gonna clean up this army. Uh, that was really good by Xenio. Not getting like too aggressive. Now he, he lost two of those infestors to uh, infested Terrans, but still the supply is very close here. Uh -huh. And Yaki's somehow managed to uh, to maintain his third base. Like uh, the big thing here is, yeah, if he if he keeps his third base up and running, then he has better income than his opponent. I, I mean, Xenio might end up going for a pretty strong counter attack <sighs> here, and oh, those spines! So in the many main. spines because he was super afraid of a base trade. Yeah, the thing is, he was. He was really afraid. Yeah, the spines are not in in position at the third base. There were and he doesn't have the creep spread in between yeah. the bases. Oh, and now Xenio has uh, five infestors or seven infestors with full energy. 
And yet he is getting... Oh, no. Oh, that is a, a sick fungal position. growth. Yeah. If he can kill off that many roaches mm. for this free um, an amount, then that is pretty darn big. All the other roaches actually coming off to try and deal with this, but those roaches go pop. Right now, the investor's trying to waddle back where they can, but Xenio somehow manages to accrue himself that 20 supply lead. Just fire those fungal growths alone. That was... That was pretty big. But Xenio is long distance mining here, and if the spine crawlers are in a really good position, yeah. Yaki could survive with fungal and roaches. And then I don't know, I'm I'm not calling it right now, but he has a he has a shot to win this game. I mean he well, is behind in supply by thirty, so it's gonna be tough, but the Rams Keep in mind, Fungal is so effective on the Rams. Yeah, this is really all Xenio has got. There. I mean, this is really his last push here. Uh, Yeki, if he can hold this off somehow, some way, should be in a very, very good position. Tons of Infested Terrans rain down here. And actually quite a lot for Xenio just in general. He's taking a really significant supply lead here, though. Bringing down that hatchery would equalize up the odds in terms of those incomes. Oh, yeah. And he's, he's going to kill off the rest he's, of the roaches. Yeah, he killed all the roaches. Uh, Yeki has some Infestors left. He has to evacuate his base right now. There are six spine crawlers, uh, five spine crawlers at the natural. A lot of transfused energy, but Xenio is just too far ahead in supply. Maybe if he would have um, abandoned his third right away, get mm -hmm. some more infestors out. But it's hard to say. Maybe. Because now Xenio has plus three uh, weapons upgrade on the roaches as well against... It's just uh, about the infestor retention. Yeah. Like, just, just fully here. Xenio was able to keep them alive. As you rightly pointed out before, the nice infestor control allows him to keep that retention so high. Fungals go down, but it might not end up mattering unless these spines can somehow pull a miracle out of their hat. A lot of these transfusers. So really good transfusers, actually. Xenio's losing some roaches here, but let's have a look. It's... Uh, 26 roaches against two. Yeah, not so, so good. I think even with really good transfusers, there's nothing you can do anymore. And all the drones come off the line here. Yeki in desperation tries to deal with this valiantly fought, fought but the favor of this group will probably end up being the victor as Yeki manages to take a very, very strong game off Xenio in game number two. But Xenio just. Uh, after all perseverance is over and after all is said and done here in game number three. Yeah, he just couldn't eke out that small little thing mm. that he needed. And also the the borrow movement, I really think it helped in him some points. Um, just the harass at the third. Yeah, the it harass at the third. Because he was killing off queens over and over and over and <laughs> really limiting what his opponent could do in terms of that lava. I mean, he has a little bit now, like seven or eight or nine, but it, that doesn't matter at this point. Yeah. It's not yeah, It's he, not different yeah, at all. he stays in the game, he's going to scout that there is no third base now. Hmm. So he's gonna get more infestors, three more on the way. He does yeah, have yeah. Um, six plus three makes nine. Well, not he seeing that base, he just think, thinks he has a chance still, right? He doesn't know quite how much his opponent yeah. has in terms of supply, in terms of the army. So he's still gonna play this out. He's still gonna keep around, see how he can make it work. The the, the biggest problem here is, like the, the first big problem is the upgrade plus three. Yep. So infested Terrans are like super sick as Ridiculous. well. Ridiculous. Yeah. And it's 50 against 22 roaches. So um, even really if he gets uh, oh. 49, even oh, right. if he gets uh, his third up again, Xenia will have way more economy because he has more drones. Yeah, uh, I really like. I can understand that Yeki wants to fight here, and it obviously makes a lot of sense. But um, we can see everything, and we know it's gonna yeah, be yeah, yeah. almost impossible for him to come back. Uh, well, yeah, looks queens. Well, let's a lot see. of transfusers, maybe? Yeah, <laughs> a lot of fungals, maybe. You never know. <laughs> if he catches like this clump of roaches with one uh, really nice fungal, then he chains it. Um, he should go into the high ground with some of the infestors. Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, would love be. to see that. Yeah. A lot of changelings running in. Yeah, he's going to kill them one by one. Will take a while because roaches attack speed isn't the highest. But and Xenio actually is going really aggressive here, throwing a lot of eggs. He's. This is going to be the best trade of all time, Hassi. <laughs> eggs versus eggs, fungals on the eggs, and now the infestors battling infested turns, and it's... I, I don't mean, know if I like that by Xenio. He should be careful. If <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you'll be okay, ultimately. <laughs> in the end, oh, in the he's end. He's losing all his roaches now. <laughs> oh, dear me. No, but yeah, you're right. I mean, he, <laughs> he can reproduce nine roaches, while Yaki can only make uh, three or four. Ah, there we go. The reinforcements has arrived. Nom, 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 nom. And, yeah. Even the Overseer there burrows, but it is all in vain. The roaches yeah. trying to cleave them down with their backsides is what I'm going to refer to them as. And, okay. yeah, poor Yeki. It's 120 against 40 supply. 
No more income for Yaki. There's only one more mineral patch. So GG, GG well, well played. played. And that was definitely well played by Xenio. That and was, yeah. I mean, I think, I think well played stage. by Yaki as well. Well, yeah, well uh, played by Yaki as well. But um, just a little bit better by Xenio. But yeah, I mean, Xenio was the favorite. And yeah, he won it with a lot of problems. But he made it through. He did, he did. Qualified for the uh, so group stage.